Good morning, guys. Um, how are you today? Um, I've been doing great, and I hope you do too. Um, today is uh, my parents went to this um, festival, and I I don't know. I decided not to because I feel like I want to spend the day all by myself. People get used to being alone when you are, like live in yourself, you know. Sometimes I need to be by myself. It doesn't mean that I don't like my parents, right? Um, I just need some time alone with my dog. So I just decided not to. And today I want to go out with Pootie because, you know, it's Sunday and why not? So, and oh, I forgot to tell you, but okay, today I decided to wear lip stain on my lip. Just because one, I always forget to wear lipstick and every time I edit my vlogs, I regret because, you know, having lipstick on is looks a lot better, you know. And two, I don't reapply my lipstick during the day. I don't know why that's just me, you know. So I figured I can get a lip stain so that I don't have to reapply and I can have my lipstick on all day long so the lip stain I got is from Revlon it's like a bomb stain set and the color is 35 you can see the color on me is like it's pretty peach color so which I like you know it goes with everything with my skin tone so I hope this works. I got this, um, how do you call this, schedule book. Um, I used to get one, you know, Moleskine schedule book um, every year, but not this year. I don't know why, but I d decided not to get that one. I think it's very simple and classic design, you know, the Moleskine design, I love it. But sometimes it's boring, so maybe I need to like decorate with stickers and stuff, but... And this is Moomin one. Do you know Moomin? I don't know, but here in Japan, Moomin is so popular because it's so cute. And this is me. <laughs> Me doesn't mean me, you know. Her name is me. I like this drawing too. I think it's pretty. And inside it's a... Uh, it's really simple. You know, the month and the day, so you can just, you know, write it down. Your laugh schedule. If you want to be like more specific, then this schedule book is not for you. But there's a... Hmm? Somebody's coming. <laughs> Excuse me. It was my grandma's friend. What was I talking? For me right now, I all I need is to be like organized, you know. Putty is sleeping. She loves pillow and she always find the light here. She likes to be on the sunlight. I think every dog's do. And here it's like a subway map. This is a Japanese subway. Uh, in here we call it uh, Tokyo Metro. I think in my opinion Tokyo subways are the most complicated um, subway in the world. Well I have only experienced New York, Paris and London but I don't know about other countries but I think Tokyo is the most complicated. Oh, 2020, there's an Olympic in Tokyo, right? If you happen to come to Tokyo and you want to take subway, you should learn before you come to Tokyo. There's an English description in all over, but still it's hard. If you talk really slowly and choose like very um, easy words then we usually understand the English don't speak like a complicated um, sentences then they they were like oh I don't know I don't know but we know you know right now I'm not uploading so 
after this I have to upload it so right now it's around 12 o'clock so I think this video is gonna be uploaded on I don't know two or three o'clock in Japanese time okay it's lunch time let's see what my parents have um she has ooh stew so I think they have a bread do they no they don't have bread but oh they have this thing cup noodle I kind of wanted to eat I don't know about you guys but after, every time I eat like those cup noodle thing ramen thing I get thirsty really easy so I don't really like it in that way so what about the rice do they have rice do they yes I guess I can have rice with those stew for my lunch oh and I went to the thread store and got some tough stuff so one thing I got is just a regular um, sweatshirt yeah like I want to wear this as a PJ and slash when I want to go out with I don't know my dog like I don't know just a lazy day for lazy day outfit I got this I got this at for like 500 yen which is like five dollars other thing I got is this um, plaid check I don't know in Japan the we call check um, red shirt plaids are in this season right it's really on trend in this season so I figured why not get in this and I like I like the color combination yeah actually I can wear this today it goes with pretty well with my outfit today lunch is done how's my lip looks like look who's waiting pretty are you waiting are you waiting for me you want to go to park yeah okay jump yeah good girl okay here we go pretty do you like it? Yeah. I think Putty loves it. It's so dangerous to do this. <laughs> it's not a very smart way of driving. Like taking movies. Oops. Ooh. That was dangerous. In 20th age, like um, 20 to 29 years old, um, I think it's all about like getting dressed, looking nice every day. I mean, looking good is important for you, right? But trust me, when you get 30, and especially in my age, I'm I'm almost like close to 40. It's all about comfortable. You get tired very easily so you don't want to like try too hard you will prefer flats than those heel shoes and you will prefer like lever band kind of skirt or leggings than skinny jeans and you will prefer like big and baggy shirt than fitted shirt trust me it's gonna be like that and it's kind of sad okay I the park is almost there but before that I decided to get something to drink and look at this it's like bending bending machine heaven drinks coffees and stuff and over there there's a beers and alcohols and all of those cigarettes and right here it's a regular vending machine and right here there's a picture staking I don't know why but there's music here <laughs> so pretty 
What are you doing, booty? What are you doing? Don't eat something bad, okay? Love it. Here is like 360 degree view. Yeah, nice. Oh, I found a couple over there. Let's see if I can zoom it. I think they are doing something. I don't know. Picnic? Okay, look at this. Under the table, there's a like a kaki pea. It's a peanut and a rice cracker thing. And somebody, I don't know, decided to throw it away in here. And what happened was Puti was trying to eat that. So I don't know if she already ate or I don't know. But it's not funny. Puti. Did you eat the peanut? Pooty. Did you eat the peanut? What? Pooty. Kochi mo ite. Did you? <sighs> Trouble. Um, Pooty ate peanut. Um, I. I, I was not sure if she ate the peanuts or not, but I touched her stomach and I felt a peanut. And again, and I keep touching, you know, to see if she ate them or not. And basically she ate three peanuts. I can feel three peanuts. So, I have to go back. I may have to go to hospital. It's serious. Oh my god. I'm like freaking out. I've read somewhere that um, dogs cannot digest the peanuts. So, it's like a dangerous food for dog. According to the internet, peanuts are not bad for dogs. It's just... Um, you know, Chihuahua is a really small dog, so she can, they can like choke with the peanut, so have to be careful. But Puti is quite big for Chihuahua. You know, Chihuahuas are really tiny, but she is a like big Chihuahua, so she's gonna be okay. And I can feel in her stomach that, you know, there's a peanut, so. But, like I said, they can't, um, digest the peanut by themselves so she shouldn't be eating tonight and um, give her lots of water and to see how it goes but anyway um she's gonna be okay but she uh, her stomach can be like get like you know I'm sorry if you're eating but diarrhea or something you know or maybe she's gonna puke, but she should be fine, so. Ah, oh, I thought she's gonna die. Well, that's it for my vlog today. Um, I hope you enjoy it, and see you next time, bye. are going to go to eat the seafood. Booty!
this. <laughs> 